have a beaker that is filled with 0 0.069 kilograms of ice. We want to find out how much heat energy in joules it will take to turn the ice with initial temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius into steam at 110 degrees Celsius. For the first step of this problem, we need to find out how much heat it takes to raise 0 0.069 kilograms of ice to the freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius. The equation for finding the heat energy needed to raise the temperature of ice is the specific heat times the mass of ice times the change in temperature. We can plug in our specific heat or how much energy it takes to raise 1 kilogram of ice 1 degree Celsius into the equation with the mass of ice in kilograms and the change in temperature, which is the freezing point of water of 0 degrees Celsius minus the initial temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. We get a heat added of 724.6 joules. Now the ice will have to undergo a phase change from ice to liquid water. This will require an energy. We will need to know what the latent heat of fusion is, which is the amount of energy per kilogram of ice to change from a solid to a liquid. The latent heat of fusion is 3.33 times 10 to the 5th joules per kilogram of ice. After multiplying the latent heat of fusion times the mass of ice, we get 22,977 additional joules of heat energy needed to convert the ice to a liquid. Notice on the temperature versus heat graph that the temperature doesn't increase during the phase changes. For the next step, we need to find out how much heat energy will be required to raise the water from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. We'll use the specific heat for the liquid water and multiply it times the mass of ice, which is now water, times the heat delta of 100 degrees. We get an additional 28,883.4 joules of heat energy needed to raise the water up to boiling point. The water will need to change phases again, this time from liquid to gas, so we will need to know what the latent heat of vaporization is. The latent heat of vaporization of water is 22.6 times 10 to the 5th joules a kilogram. The value means that for every kilogram of water it will require 22.6 times 10 to the 5th joules of energy to convert it to a gas vapor. So we can multiply this times the mass of kilograms of water we have which is 0 0.069 kilograms. We get an additional 155,940 joules of heat energy needed to turn the water into a gas vapor. Now the gas will have a slightly higher temperature than the boiling point of water. In this case, it has a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, so we need to look at the specific heat for water when it is in gaseous state or steam. The specific heat is 2,000 joules per kilogram of steam raised by 1 degree Celsius. So now if we multiply the specific heat times the mass of steam and change in temperature, or delta, of 10 degrees Celsius, we get 1,380 joules of heat energy needed to raise the gas vapor by 10 degrees Celsius. To finish off this video, let's find the total joules of heat needed to get water from ice to steam. We can add up all of the joules of heat needed for the various temperature changes and phase changes. So after adding up Q1 through Q5, we get an answer of 209,904.9 joules of heat energy to make 0 0.069 kilograms of ice at negative 5 degrees Celsius into steam at 110 degrees Celsius. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.